we question ourselves sometimes why isn't our YouTube channel bigger is it because we just don't go with facts or we flub or our lighting is less than spectacular or we don't do our research who knows anyway Hello to all my friends out there in YouTube land. It is your good buddy, Phil-tastic Phil here, and I'd like to welcome you back to my channel. So today is December 27th, uh, two days after Christmas. If I could sing it all, and you know, I've been trying to sing online a little bit lately. I don't recommend that you check those out. Uh, I guess in this case, if you know, you know. Uh, what the hell, I'll put a card over here. I know this is early for a card, but whatever. So if you wanna see me, um, absolutely murderous song go ahead and, and watch that and um, take out your hearing aids remove animals and small children from the area enough about that um, yeah if I could sing anything I would probably try to do a little cover of of uh, was that brick by Ben folds five but uh, nobody could get that high note I think well many maybe an actual vocalist can I can't we'll leave it at that anyway uh, today is December 27th and I have some boxes to unbox um, I didn't know what to call this video. I'm just going to say holiday unboxing. I know that a lot of people are doing that already. Uh, I suppose if I did it yesterday, I could be doing a Boxing Day unboxing. It does sound a little bit hacky, but I don't know. Um, to save some time, I've actually already pre-cut the boxes. So there's something. I'm, I'm learning. <laughs> you know, it only took a little over a year, almost two years. Wow. For us to do that. But uh, let me go ahead and get to it. Um, first one let me take my glasses off so this is a completely blind unboxing I hope that wasn't hacky I'm just kind of hoping that you don't get too much glare on this um, first one is actually from the great Reggie collects uh, on his last live show uh, not this past Sunday because that was Christmas I'm sorry it was on the Wednesday show if I'm not mistaken he had a, a giveaway and uh, a trivia question I won the first one he had shown just some stuff that he was giving away. I, I'm kind of hoping that I won a copy of Volume 2 to his guide to the to comic book collecting. I have a couple covers for Volume 1. One I bought, some I won, and I actually had purchased a New York Comic Con copy signed by him and I believe Doug Bratton. Um, fun fact that I just made up. We've all been pronouncing Doug and Dave Bratton's names incorrectly this entire time. Again, I just made up this fact. The correct way to pronounce it is Breton. So that's Dave and Doug Breton. So let's see what I got here. Um, it doesn't feel like it's the guide. I know right away I'm doing like a daredevil blind kind of like doesn't feel like the guide thing, but let's see what we have here. Uh, it was packed in a Gemini mailer. Again, I pre-cut it. Nice plastic bag. These are good for reshipping. So I won't throw that out. Okay, so the first is Isolation 1. Again, I'm blind as a bat. And this is one of those 1 in 25 copies. I have one of these. But that's good. So I have two of the 25s. These are not 1 in 25. I should say the first, one of the first 25 issues that, uh, that came out. So that's cool. I will put that with the rest of my isolation. Maybe I might use that as a giveaway. By the way, I'm bringing back giveaways in the new year. Uh, and I'll, I'll tie that in somehow. The next one, I don't know what this is. Um, I know that he said he had some books from Skybound, so I'm assuming that that's what this is. It is a cool looking cover, but let me take a look and see. Oh, is it on the, so, no, it's not on the spine, like a typical book. It's thick. Oh, here we go. It's Chroma, issue number one. From uh, this is from Culinary Comics or Rabbit Comics, it has both their names on it. I know you can't see it. Uh, from Lorenzo Di Felice. I could be wrong. Let me see. I might be wrong based on the art style. I thought it was the same artist uh, behind Oblivion Song, but um, I could be wrong. So that I'll check out. It looks kind of interesting. Um, I do like the cover, Virgin cover. And I just dropped the board. Okay. We're off to a great start. Um, I don't know who's Suspiria Vilchez. Suspiria, I don't know how to pronounce that, but very cool cover. I like that a lot. And next is the Walking Dead Deluxe issue number 52. Um, 
as I've said before, I'm not into The Walking Dead. Um, haven't really read it. I only watched one episode of the show. But, uh, yeah, I mean, look, I could use this as a, as a giveaway. So there we go. That was kind of cool. Uh, I should note before I continue, I had two channels participate last week in our shout-out challenge. The first being Mr. Brian LCS, who, Brian is amazing. Uh, according to Chad, not to me, just to be certain, uh, just to be clear, rather, uh, Brian LCS, LCS stands for Linguini Clam Sauce, and Wellbore. Again, I had to look at my notes. Uh, Wellbore, great great, uh, great watcher, subscriber, I guess you could say. Comments a lot, likes a lot. I like that stuff. And IG, I think they like a couple of our things as well. Um, Brian, again, I have to give a million thanks to uh, for really helping me figure out how to do live feeds and uh, continuing to entertain my, my question and actually tapping me to uh, make the insert that was included uh, with uh, to all the winners of the Comic Book Community Awards. So if you won an award or seven, like Reg Reggie, uh, that little piece of artwork is from me in there. Is by me, I should say. Let me get to the other stuff here. Now, um, these other ones, I have to say, these are both shipments from Midtown. Why are there two shipments from Midtown, you may ask? Very easy. Um, I blame Doug Bratton. Oh, excuse me. I blame Doug Bratton. Uh, we're in a little bit of a of a IG discussion, not to not to pull the sheet from behind the wizard. And we were he uh, kind of clued everybody in on a uh, great deal Midtown was having after I placed another deal because they had like a great sale last week. So I got some stuff. So uh, a lot of these picks are based on some things Doug has recommended or based off of. Not exactly the same issue, but other issues of things that Doug Bratton has uh, Breton pardon me, has uh, recommended on Reggie's channel in the past. So I'll go ahead and I'll show that to you. Uh, by the way, I went through the hashtag challenge for this past week. Uh, this upcoming week, if you comment with the hashtag Daredevil, we'll say that because I'm not using my glasses, I'm kind of flying blind, uh, you will get a nice special shout out on the next, next week's video, one of next week's videos, whenever I do them. Let's face it, I'm inconsistent. Oh well. Okay, so open up the first box. And I have to say, by the way, especially for Midtown, packed really well. Nice, big, thick bubble wrap. And, um, you know, I've had issues in the past with Midtown shipping. Hopefully they've, you know, kind of picked up on the error of their ways. And I do have to say, anytime I have had an error with, uh, or excuse me, an issue with Midtown shipping, um, they've reimbursed me. And uh, you can see prior videos... I already put a card in, so I can't do that again. I'll put a link in the description of prior videos, so you can check that out. The first, and this was the one that Doug uh, kind of sold me on. Uh, Frank Miller, uh, as you may know, legendary artist, writer, why don't we just say creator, that's easy. Uh, just launched his new line, Frank Miller Presents. And uh, this is Frank Miller Presents Pandora, and this is a signed, and this, of course, they include their COA, um, copy of Pandora Number 1, signed by Frank Miller and Emma Kubert. Um, right here. Known from the world class, in my book, the first family of comic book uh, artists, the Kuberts. And, uh, yeah, nice COA, and look, it was a cheap price, especially for a Frank Miller signature. Have you seen what he was charging for CGC? You can't go wrong with that. Yeah, it's not in a slab. If you really want to, you could submit it to CBCS and a couple years later you'll get your slab back but there you go and here's another one this is going to show as upside down because that's how Midtown put it in but this is a copy of Ronin book two also from Frank Miller uh, presents I think that's it yeah Frank Miller presents signed by Dan DiDio I had actually taken a, um, I was making sure it's upside down again. I'm working blind here. I'd actually taken a pitching class from the Kubert School, um, taught by Dan DiDio, and it was a great class. My problem, I decided to pitch existing Marvel characters, and I don't own the rights, so I can't do anything with it. So maybe one day I'll write my own story, and then his pitching stuff or tactics will come into play, lessons. But surely enough, Doug um, actually... Doug Breton, in case you were 
not familiar, took that same pitch class and that became his pitch for isolation. So that's very cool. Here is one I have not been able to get at my LCS. And I enjoyed the first two issues, didn't get the third one. I have the fourth one to read. Now I can read three and four. Rogues Gallery number three. Very excited to read that one. Great story so far. And uh, you'll see that in my upcoming reviews. Now this, uh, this pick, and I think it's going to be the next couple, are based off of those videos I was telling you about that Doug uh, curated with Reggie. Here is a copy of Game of Thrones, Clash of Clans, Clash of Kings, Clash of Clans, I think that's a, yeah, Clash of Clans, I think that's a mobile game, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, issue number eight, I don't think this is one of the issues Doug had highlighted per se, but um, they were so cheap. Like uh, Midtown was having like a 75% off sale. I think these were a dollar. And Clash of Kings, got it right the second time. Issue 10, these are from Dynamite Entertainment. No, I didn't get any of the cosplay covers. Game of Thrones, Clash of Kings, issue 12. Issue 15. Issue 16. Okay, I didn't realize I got this many of the Game of Thrones ones. Hopefully it's a good series. Here we go. No more Game of Thrones. Uh, no, there are more in a bit. Never mind. Uh, Alpha Flight Annual. I go deep with Alpha Flight. I didn't realize that until... I started my ongoing organization project, but I didn't have Alpha Flight Annual, number one. But guess what? Thanks to the good people at Midtown, now I do. Put that over there. Um, here is a recent book I missed out on because I'm not reading Spider-Man, but everybody kept saying, you got to read this, you got to read this. My thought was I'll read it online. But again, Midtown had a great deal, very cheap. Amazing Spider-Man, the current volume, number 10, uh, legacy number 909, number yeah, 90. 904. This was part of Judgment Day. I don't know why I said it like that. I think I was kind of using the voice from the old G4 Judgment Day series, and I just did it again. Uh, okay, back to Game of Thrones Clash of Kings, number 10. Okay. And. This is one I did not pick up at my LCS, a book I didn't get for my LCS because I thought it was too expensive at the time. But you know what? When you have a big, <laughs> huge sale like Midtown does, I was like, okay, I'll bite as I flip it back around because they were just showing the back. Death of Superman 30th Anniversary Special. That cool cover which uh, my LCS didn't have. I looked at the what the LCS offered, and I saw the cover price, and to me it wasn't worth it. That, at a discount, was well worth it in my book. Uh, Adventures of Superman, number 525. Uh, it just looked like an interesting cover. This was, I want to say, like 50 cents. I could be wrong, but it was very cheap. I was trying to round out my purchase a little bit. This was a great issue of Deadpool I already own, but my issue got a little banged up so I wanted to get a mint or near mint issue Deadpool number 20 and this was one of those like PSA very special issues I think it was one of those ones that jumped up for no reason in particular not too long ago um, this one was just looking like interesting read to me uh, Captain Marvel number 43 again I'm just kind of holding it close to my face because we are doing the blind uh, challenge here again hashtag Daredevil uh, interesting cover at least. This is Captain Marvel Volume 9, number 43. This is Variant C, the Sergio Davila, Davila, Davila cover. Nice kind of holiday themed, just in time for Thanksgiving. Okay. And um, anytime I see copies of Avengers No Surrender, I've been picking them up since um, really the WandaVision series because I expect a little bit thinking that maybe they're doing that whole no surrender or the um, not no surrender the uh, I can't think of even the name of the storyline uh, see we question ourselves sometimes why isn't our YouTube channel bigger 
Is it because we just don't go with facts or we flub or our lighting is less than spectacular or we don't do our research? Who knows? Anyway, uh, Avengers No Surrender. This was Avengers issue 687. Very cool cover with Rogue's head bursting with all the Avengers in there. Hell of a headache. Avengers 688. I've always loved this cover. This is a Mark Brooks cover. Very cool. Never had that issue, but hey, they had a sale. Good sale, too. And Avengers No Surrender, number 690. This was the Luke Cage and Jessica Jones wedding variant. Um, I thought that they had gotten married in a different issue, but I was might have been thinking of when she gave birth. I read Jessica Jones uh, a while when it was Alias and then her own series, and then New Avengers. I, I thought it was a New Avengers annual that they actually got married in, but... I could be wrong. So, here is my second box from Midtown. And, and again, really, those books I found were packed really well. Um, this one as well, and I didn't see any damages. Again, I'm not wearing my glasses, so I might see something different later on. And yeah, I'm trying to wear my glasses more. I know I wore them on my live show uh, on Saturday, and that's just a case of uh, me trying to do a little bit better by my eyes. Long story short, I think anybody in their 40s can comprehend. Ooh. Let's not get stuck in the microphone. Again, you never see these big channels like Bueller or Reggie getting stuck in their microphones. I know Reggie used to do the kitchen videos. I still haven't seen any of those. I should go back and watch those. This was a cool cover that I missed out on. Um, Maybe that's another reason that this channel just isn't huge. Uh, look, 190 subscribers, that's nothing to sneeze at. And yeah, I'm going to have a giveaway when I'm at 200. We'll talk about that in a second. Catwoman number 45, the meow cover. Meow. I've been really watching a lot of, if you guys know Maddie Matheson on, uh, on YouTube. He used to be on Vice. And... Um, his old show, because I think that one got taken off. He's got a new one now. He has a little logo when he shows it. just says, meow, and I just laugh when I see that. Okay, we're coming back in. Again, maybe I'd be a bigger channel if I were able to just focus. <laughs> uh, okay, for some reason, my LCS had accidentally removed Wolverine from my polls, and we don't know how, but I know that it's back on, or at least I hope it's back on. So I missed out. So you'll see I went back and got those. Wolverine number 23 with Danger, who may or may not be in the new Deadpool film. I don't think she will be. I have another video planned for what I think the future of the MCU is going to be and, and why Deadpool and Wolverine are kind of like the center, not the centerpiece, but a big part of that. Wolverine number 25, very cool cover, part of Judgment Day, which I did not read, but I'm going to be looking at digitally. I've been hearing mostly positive things, but... What can you do? Okay, I could tell by the back of this, and I'm not going to show you the front just because I'm being lazy. Uh, it was cover A of The Closet, issue number two. What the hell? I'll flip it around. And by the way, I, I said this once and I'll say it again. I, I blame this haul on Doug Breton because <laughs> I wouldn't have jumped down the Midtown hole, so to speak. I had to think about that one. <laughs> if it weren't for Doug. And I'm just joking, of course. He's a good guy, and I control my own spending habits and whatnot. So that's a cool cover, actually. I'm glad I flipped that around. You're welcome. Don't mention it. You are welcome. Hashtag Daredevil, people. <laughs> okay, Wolverine, number 22. I just amuse myself sometimes, and I think that's sometimes really important. Again, maybe I would be bigger as far as a channel goes if it were more just kind of universal jokes but what the hell you gotta love what you do wolverine 22 cool cover you've got wolverine deadpool and maverick you might be saying phil how do you see that you don't have your glasses on i looked right ahead before and i memorized who was on the cover okay uh whoop. this was upside down wild cats i flipped it around this is the arc germ variant number one I wouldn't have gotten this, but again, Midtown, 
you bastards selling your stuff dirt cheap. Fantastic Four, number 47. This is the Russ Dodderman. Dodderman? Don't call me Dodderman. Is that hacky? I don't know. Variant. Um, I had stopped collecting Fantastic Four, but I am collecting the Dodderman variants. And I think I have most of them at this point. I have to go back and see what I'm missing. I then proceeded to get not one, but two copies of New Mutants number 29. Um, I own the cover B, which I prefer. These are gifts for two of my siblings. And uh, if you've watched my live show, you know why. And if you haven't, shame on you. Uh, I'm just kidding. You can go back and read it. Exterminators, issue one. And there is a variant from, I think this is Mayhew. No, Art Adams. Which was a cool cover. As my heater comes on, and you probably hear all kinds of weird sounds, but that's okay. We're just going to power through it. Ant-Man, number three. And number four. So I could finally finish this series. I really enjoyed the first two issues. And uh, and again, I didn't tell my LCS to put them aside because I figured, who's going to buy Ant-Man? And apparently everybody but me. Okay. Uh, to finish out the Wolverine issues I was missing, I've got issues number 24. And yes, I know I'm presenting them to you out of order. So bear with me. And issue 26. Very cool. I've got a lot of Wolverine to read, and uh, that doesn't bother me, because you know what, Ben Percy, if you're watching, and I know you aren't, I'm here for it. Enjoy it. You're doing some great work on that. And finally, the last one in this haul and in this video, Wonder Woman number 793, the 90s variant from Ms. Jen, Ms. or Mrs., I don't know if she's married, Jen Bartel. Very cool. I like the 90s cover. Very well done. And that's it. That's all I have for you. Um, I guess kind of anticlimactic in retrospect, but uh, either way, thanks for checking out this video. Dealing with my mumbling, um, do all that great YouTube stuff, like, share, and subscribe. And yes, I will be having giveaways soon. Uh, remember, hashtag Daredevil. I guess if you haven't figured it out, I am going to base my giveaways on that little hashtag. We are closing in on 200 subscribers, and that's maybe when that will be when I first have that. Boo boo. Blah. Again, just mumbling. It's after work. I'm thirsty. Okay. Maybe that's when I'll, I'll t kick off my first, uh, first giveaways when we hit 200 subscribers. So make sure you're using the hashtag. And Couple Comics, who just recently did an unboxing of a prior win, I promise I will learn how to do pull tabs, but I'm glad that you liked your comics. In truth, I forgot that I sent it to you. But I digress. Thanks again for joining, people. Enjoy your evening. Peace, love, and comics. Take care.